Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys all my vehicles on Alfred Outlaws. So, yeah. Remember guys, if you do enjoy this video, remember to like and subscribe. Let's try to hit 30 likes on this video. And these videos do usually do do good on my channel. So, yeah. It looks a little bit different when I click each car. It's going like super fast. But, okay, yeah. It's a little thundery outside. I think we're fine. But, yeah. So, if you... Yeah, we're trying to get 30 likes and on the way to 5,000 subscribers. So let's click on the garage, and let's start to rate them. <clears throat> so I have a, quite a bit of cars this time. I have 82 of them, which, yeah, I have new builds from the last time that we did it, a whole bunch of them, and I changed up a lot of my vehicles. So, yeah, let's start right here with this Chevy that I made into a GMC, which is pretty cool. I put all the badges on it. And, yeah, now it's a Baja truck, which it used to be a drag truck and a lifted-up truck, a whole bunch of different things. But, yeah, it looks pretty good now. <clears throat> Here is this. It's one of my latest builds. It's pretty cool. I like this thing a lot. It's a nice little dually. I did like the color on it. And yeah, I have a light bar, lights on the front with some tow mirrors. It's pretty cool. Diesel as well. Pretty much you can see all my vehicles are pretty much a diesel on this game. Here is this Ford based off the limited vehicles on Offered House Car Show. Or not, no, limited, like limited vehicles. Not from the car show. Yeah, this one's based off it, but I also did enter it into the Offered Outlaws car show right here, which is pretty cool. I think it should do pretty decent. Here's this right here, the Monster Energy truck. It's super cool. I bought it before, and yeah, I bought it and just changed some stuff up on it, like the paint and everything. Right here is the Multicam Fox, which this one is based off another Offered Outlaws thing that I made, which is pretty cool. This one I bought, though. Yeah, but this one, I made this one. It was based off. It looks exactly like it. But then I still changed some stuff up on it. So here's this um, Cummins right here. It's a first-gen Dodge. Pretty cool. Dually. Diesel. Every vehicle's diesel in my thing. This is a diesel as well. It's a lowered version of the black one that you guys seen. And it's a dually. Which, now it's a white one, actually. I changed them up a lot. Here's a Fox Body, which is pretty cool. I like this thing. I made this thing recently because it did look horrible. I was purposely making it look ugly before, but now I just made it look decent. Now here's my jet boat. It says C3 on it. Didn't spend much time on it. But yeah, I like this boat. It's probably one of my favorites. It's either this one's my favorite or the jet ski. Here is my just normal trailer. Here's this thing. I bought this thing, put small tires on it. And if this thing goes fast, to put a little tune on it. And go over 200 in some park. Which is not the fastest. I know little tiny tire Teslas can beat it. But it is pretty decent. Okay, here's this one. It's my YouTube kind of build. So I put my own windows all the way around. I put my license plate, YouTube logo, my logo. And yeah, sunroof and those extra windows in the back. Which makes this thing look pretty cool. It's not that good off-roading, but it's more of a steamer truck. Here's my first truck on Offered Outlaws that I actually still have. Which I used to have the flames on it, but I changed it up in my live stream a little bit. But, yeah, I know the original looks of it still. But, yeah, it's my first vehicle, and I still have it. Been a long time. Okay, here's this one. I used to use this one a lot. But I haven't really used it lately, because there's a lot faster vehicles, which this used to be my drag truck. Which I could actually beat a lot of vehicles with this thing. This thing was actually pretty fast. Here's this thing right here. This 6x6, which actually goes fast as well. And this thing does pretty decent wheelies. The wheels pop right up. Pretty awesome build. Here's this one. It's kind of based off a of Yellow Wolf's truck, if you know what he is. And, yeah. <clears throat> it's pretty cool. It's square body, this song. I think five. But, yeah. Then I have a tool thing on the back. Um, a tow truck rear end. And, yeah. I took the hood off. And put the little flames down there, which we don't even need those anymore. But, whatever. And I put the white walls on it. So, right over here, we got the Grave Digger, which I bought. And, yeah, I changed up the tires. I put them a little bit bigger and put off-road outlaws with lettering on tires. So, yeah. Here is my little four-wheeler, which is pretty cool. I like it. It's all American out. And, yeah, pretty nice. Here's another one of my original C3 vehicles. And, yeah, this one's pretty awesome. This is original C3 with a little cool things on the hood. I like to paint on it. I like to rear ends on these trucks. When there's a bumper delete or a roll pan, which not one really on here. Well, it might. Um, yeah, 
Then I have my American flags. It's a diesel, of course. Here's this one. I entered this one into the car show before. Which this one, I actually sent over the wrap from the other Chevy over there. And I had to move some stuff around, like Pro 499, Toyo tires. See, all that stuff I had to move around on this vehicle. But I did still paste it on here. Here's this fast delivery auto parts truck, which I put the little topper kind of thing on it. But, mm, it's fine. It's not really anything special of a truck. It's a cool little truck. So here's this one, the latest barn find. Which a lot of people have made theirs like a drag kind of vehicle, which I knew that was going to happen. So, you know, me being me, I make my vehicle completely different as anyone else. And yeah, I made mine a crawler, which I like this thing a lot. And it's a diesel. Got the big thing coming out of the back, the big exhaust piped. And yeah, this thing looks pretty cool. Here's this. I haven't really done anything with it yet. It was just, I was trying to make like a willy, which is just doing bounce willies. So, I'm going to have to change that up because. I'm not really a fan of the body style, so I really haven't done anything with it, but I just wanted to have every barn fine. But here's this one. It's like a two-tone kind of thing. Now looking back at it, I could do way better with the two-tone, because look, it's not even touching other body panel, really, or the upper part of the truck. So yeah, I could do a lot better on this thing. I just need to get the time to do it. Okay, so here's a football. Pretty much what it is. It was from Rocket, and I switched the antenna on it. So now it's some very cool looking football, which it did beach ball. You might have seen the videos of beach ball. Same vehicle, I switched to antenna. Here's this one. I entered this one into the last off for car show. Didn't do too well. I got like probably like 200th place when I was looking in there. But yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. But I guess everyone in the car show didn't. And yeah, it has my roll cage in it. This thing looks pretty awesome in my opinion. I just wish I couldn't have the... I just wish I didn't have to have the big exhaust pipes. I just wish I could have none. Or maybe little side exits. See where it's coming out? The big pipe? I wish it was just a little small one. Just one pipe coming out. Or flames can shoot up. Okay, so here's my F650. This thing's pretty awesome. Tow truck. And yeah, I put some big tires on this thing. So yeah. It's it's just not really much of a tow truck anymore. It's more of a monster truck at this point. But yeah, it looks pretty cool. That's why I did it. And yeah, I needed one. I like to have every, almost every vehicle in off that was. Here's my little race quad. This thing is pretty awesome. I have the fenders on the back, painted. And it's pretty much all with the American flag. And then I did the bead locks on it. And then I have a little winch on it. This thing is pretty cool. So here's my um, video. I did a video on it, my John Deere tractor. I've changed some stuff on it. Like, John Deere doesn't say that anymore. But, yeah. I made a video on this. This video is over 20,000 views now. Which, thank you guys so much for the support on that. That is crazy how much views we got on that. But yeah, it's pretty awesome. It's a little diesel as well. The exhaust pipe's a little small on it. But that's fine. Here's my Amazon Prime trailer. Which I did this for a short little video when I was on vacation. I made it. And then I got another truck. An Amazon Prime vehicle. A van. And then... Showed a little picture of it for a YouTube video because I really didn't have time to actually make a YouTube video And I wanted to keep posting for you guys So here's another little small trailer nothing special about it So here's another video um, vehicle that I pasted over And yeah, it's a cat eye Chevy This thing is the tires are giant monster suspension giant build So yeah, it's pretty cool it's a solid build which I'm not a big fan of it. It's kind of like too crazy but it is pretty good off going off roading. You could tell because like it's a giant vehicle. So here's this one, which is this one's either my favorite or the jet boat, like I said earlier in the video. And I just have this random antenna for no reason. But yeah, it's a pretty little solid looking jet ski. Really not much to it. I put a little nitrous thing, not even on the other side. I just put it on it. So yeah, it's something a little simple build because I wanted a jet ski, which I might do a wrap on it if you guys want me to. Okay, guys, here's the Amazon Prime van that I was talking about that goes with the trailer. So, you guys can see I changed some stuff up. It's kind of a drag diesel now, like, I think it looks better than it did. So, yeah, it looks pretty awesome. I like this thing. I think, in my opinion, it's pretty cool. It looks a lot better than being the stock-looking one I had at before. So, here's my Ford Ranger when I built, when an update came right out. For a video, I have monster suspension on it. It's kind of like a 
um, what are those, like, little race trucks, you know, like, the mud ones, I'm kind of think. I'm trying to think of it, but if you guys know the name of that, you just comment it down below, here's my safari, whatever, defender, little building here, so yeah, it's pretty cool, I just built this thing to go fast again, and the tires look flat for some reason, on all the vehicles now with this little pad, I think it just, I think it doesn't have any, like, I don't know, a density maybe or something, and everything just goes right through it. Yeah, I have a little roof rack on it. This thing looks pretty awesome. I haven't really drove it much, though. Here's this boat. Don't recommend buying it. Yeah, I hated it. Personally, I hate this thing. It is a little hunk of junk. Yeah, but then I put a little quick little two-tone paint job on it. Because you can... I don't even have to, like, put a wrap on it. It just does it in the paint category. So, yeah, this thing is not the best. I mean, the looks of it is pretty cool. But the drivability is not the best. Here's my tiny tire Tesla. This thing goes over 400 miles per hour. And it does it pretty fast. In Stump Park, I go over 240. Pretty cool. If you guys ever want me to show you the tune, just comment it down below, and I might. Here's the Whistle and Deals 3-wheeler I tried to make. It's not the best, but I tried tires couldn't get too big. But, you know, I tried. It, it, it looks pretty decent. Here's a rusted out golf cart. Don't even ask what I was doing, because I don't even know. I forgot I even had this thing. But yeah, also a cool part of this video is I can see some of the builds that I haven't seen in a long time, which is pretty cool to look at. Here's my drift bus. This thing can actually drift very well for some surprisingly reason, which I think because of the bumper drags, so it drifts pretty good. But yeah, it's purposely, you can see I've kind of made it purposely look ugly at this point, because it's looking ugly either way, okay? With small tires in the rear and big in the front. So might as well go all the way, go big or go home. So look at this ugly thing. Don't even know what I was doing with this once again. It's just a random build with ugly vehicle I think I was trying to do. Yeah, and this is another body style I really didn't care about much. So yeah, that's what I kind of did with this. It's just random little vehicle. And have you guys noticed in the offer that was like, thing now, half of the vehicles are like, well, not half of the vehicles. I don't even know what I'm saying. Okay, see the little... Just plain, okay, look on, the, like, the part, the, okay, see on the back, like, trunk, it's a little empty black spot just there. It doesn't show, like, number out of number of, like, what it is, which, that's weird now. Okay, well, I skipped this video, this vehicle. I think it's a 56 or 57 belly, or I think a 57 has a different rear end kind of area thing. So, yeah, I put my exhaust on it. It was a replica of trying to make this kind of. But yeah, this thing is all pretty awesome. But yeah, here's another one, which I've actually bought this one. It's pretty cool. I usually don't like the teeth on it, but on this build, it matches everything. It looks pretty cool with the bullet holes, logo, and everything. That thing's awesome. Here's my little NASCAR that I also bought from the um, off Dollars Car Show, which is Valvoline. It's a pretty cool little vehicle. I like it, and I need a NASCAR because I'm not that good at building them, so I just end up buying it. Which, thank you guys for the support on the videos, because I can get some money from it, from monetization, and actually buy some of that stuff, so I can make more videos, and yeah, because before, I probably wouldn't have bought it, <laughs> okay, yeah, here, right here is the dirt bike, pretty cool, the one of the ones with tracks, because I accidentally sold my little dirt bike, so I bought this one, because I wasn't paying attention, but yeah, this thing is pretty awesome, here's my Monster Energy vehicle, this thing looks pretty cool. It's another one I pasted over the wrap. And yeah, now it's a giant monster truck. Which actually did pretty good in the Offer House car show. Right here is the one I bought. It just has some little decals on it. And it's pretty cool. There's something I remember about this, but I really can't think of it right now. Which it was with the paint or something, I think. They couldn't paint it maybe or something. Or decals maybe would go away. But yeah, there's something with it. Right here is my glitch crawler. This thing is pretty awesome. This thing can pretty much climb up anything on the game, which I have a video on this showing you the tune. It can pretty much go up like a 90 degree wall. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so here's my Jeep that I really haven't drove in a long time. I just built a Jeep, and it looks pretty good. I'm not a big Jeep guy, but it looks pretty decent. kind of like this one. Okay, now this is another one I bought. The Autobot, Transformer, Bumblebee thing. So yeah, it's pretty cool how they did this. They did a really cool design on this. I love the, the, the design they did. It's awesome. They must have spent a lot of time on it. But yeah, this thing looks awesome.
I love this thing. They did a really good job on it, so props to them. Okay, so here is this one right here. It's another old Ford. Well, it's an old Ford. And yeah, it's, I kind of made this like a sand dune, dunes area, Baja. Well, not really Baja, just like a sand dune kind of truck. And yeah, this thing is diesel, awesome looking. So here is my, I think it's a Can-Am, right? Yeah. It's pretty cool. I like this thing a lot. So yeah, this thing is awesome. Okay, here's another thing. I don't even know how many vehicles I've been through. Because it doesn't tell me my little number down there. I thought that was honestly my last vehicle, but I guess not. So here's my little Nova. I bought this one also. This thing is awesome. I love this thing. I just wish I couldn't have, like I said before with the Nova, I wish I didn't have to have the exhaust on it. They're kind of just like sticking out. Like, I don't really like them much. Kind of wish I couldn't have any on this vehicle. Which would be pretty cool if they did on an update. But yeah, I bought this thing. I love the look of this. It looks awesome. This thing looks very cool. So here's my Willy Quad, which everyone made videos on a Willy Quad. But yeah, this thing is pretty cool. I like it. The snorkels are kind of weird sticking out right there. But, I mean, it's fine. I mean, you need snorkels on this thing. It's kind of like more of a street vehicle. Because you can see the tires and stuff that are on it. But this thing can do willies down like the whole stump park. So here's another one, like Yellow F's truck. That's completely like lifted up. Diesel, of course. Very surprised, right? It's a diesel. Um, yeah, it's pretty crazy. It looks pretty good. It's a flatbed now. And yeah, some dirt tires. But yeah, it looks pretty awesome. Okay, so here's this one right here. It's a military vehicle. It looks pretty good. And yeah, it's a little army dude. And you can see I actually did pretty cool. good. I made the ears, eyes, helmet, arm, legs, and shooting a gun. And then there's a bomb over there, which is pretty cool. I did a little flames out of the bomb and the little gun, which it was pretty cool. I like this. It's the American flag, U.S. Army all over it. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, awesome build. Here's this one right here. It's a American flag. I love this vehicle. I haven't drove it in a while, though. But it's a diesel. Big surprise. <laughs> and, yeah, this thing looks pretty cool. American flags. And, yeah, I do like this thing a lot. I just haven't drove it in a while because I've been making so much other builds, which I like a lot. So here's another sand dune vehicle, kind of trophy vehicle. But, yeah, it has my Baja suspension on it, trophy suspension, which this thing looks pretty cool. Again, just please don't make me put exhaust pipes on it. kind of just sticking out there. But, yeah, it's fine, I guess. I did the roll cage on it instead of the full body thing. I put the camo on it, which used to be um, metallic black or satin black, maybe. Um, which, yeah, it's different now. So you guys might remember that. So here's another Raptor. This one is based off one of the vehicles I seen in Off Dogs Car Show that did not win. Which I think there should have won. But yeah, I kind of made my own version of it. Raptor, SVT, Ford, F-150. This thing is pretty awesome looking. So yeah, here's my General Lee, which there's a lot of General Lees. I actually made this one, did not buy it. <clears throat> I did it, I did it. I looked at a picture of one. That was all for that was winner on the car show. But I did not buy this one. And I put my rally wheels on it, or whatever you call them. I put the big blower out the hood. Which I think this thing has a cute over your head, yes. But I put, like, the charger kind of front. But, yeah, it's supposed to be Cuda, I think. <laughs> okay, yeah, and now here's this Ford right here. This thing looks pretty cool. It's a giant. I think tires are all the way maxed out. And, yeah, this thing is pretty cool. I like this thing. Pretty good off road, uh, when I remember. And yeah, it's giant. The suspension, not good at towing because it just squats a whole bunch when it's towing. But yeah, so here's my dad's. He built this one. It has twin turbos on it. They called a. Oh, look at that. Wait, do flames come out there now? I gotta check that out. If they do, that'd be actually pretty awesome. And yeah, he called it. It's called something. It's an old kind of like vehicle that people used to do. Okay, so here's my Ghostbusters. Which, oh my, what happened to that rear topper kind of looking thing? That looks horrible with being chrome like that. That kind of, it looks a little crazy. I mean, whatever though. What can I do about it? I bought it. I also bought this one. It was during Halloween. I bought this one. Which was a while ago, but yeah. So yeah, and then here's this one. It's pretty cool. He also built this one based off our 
Terror X he was trying to do, which there's no Terror X really on the game. But yeah, this one's close so we can get to it. And yeah, we have one that's on 37s. But yeah, here's my Halloween trailer, which I haven't used in such a long time. Because, yeah, it's my Halloween trailer. I don't have any need for it right now. But you guys will see it coming back during Halloween time. But yeah. It looks like the wing moves when I do it really fast, doesn't it? See, look at this black little buzzer thing right here. So the wing kind of looks like it moves. Maybe that's just me, but yeah. This ought to be a long video. <laughs> so here's my another one I made at GMC, which I really haven't done much to it. But, yeah, just a giant lifted up truck, very bright, diesel, of course. But, yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it. Pretty decent off-road and stuff. But, yeah, here's another one I bought, which is a cat, which I, th I don't even know why I bought it. I was just doing it in, like, time of it. I was just buying it. But, yeah, anyways, when I bought it, like a week later, I took all the wrap off because I thought I could do it better. And I did do it better, personally, what I think, with the cat logo. I'm pretty sure I did it better, which I could have just bought the truck anyways. Just a normal truck out of the vehicles. But no, nah, I just spent $4 instead, for no reason. Just, I don't know why. <laughs> Here's another GMC, Denali HD, Denali GMC Sierra, whatever. And yeah, this thing is pretty cool. It's... Yeah, it's just another off-road truck, which is more of like a rock crawler of this kind. But yeah, it's pretty cool. So here's this one. It's Jose Man's kind of wrap. I put his logo on it for a video. And yeah, it's on a hot rod, which I haven't even used these vehicles in a while. I want to see if flames also come out of this hood right here. Or these exhaust pipes. Because if it did, that would be pretty cool. And I remember, all this stuff works in the front, which I thought is pretty cool. Here's an El Camino. I have so much El Caminos now. I think I have a lot of El Caminos. I have a few. Um, yeah, it's just because I really haven't had done anything with it any in a while. So it's just stocks in there. Here's my logo and the Bass Pro Shops logo also. I did that for a video of the Bass Pro Shops. And my logo is during the live stream. Which I'm definitely doing better at my logos now. Normal trailer. Ripsaw, nothing really special about it. Not much customization you can do to it. But I remember in a new update you can actually upgrade them now. Which is pretty cool, I didn't know. So, yeah, I have to go check that out sometime. Here is my vehicle. This one is also based off the Alfred Alice Car Show winners. Which is pretty awesome. <clears throat> I like this thing. It's supposed to be a Baja truck. Or trophy truck, whatever. I just completely changed the idea of it after I did the wrap. Now it's some crazy giant, like, I don't even know what you would call this thing. Here's my Ghostbusters wrap. I just pasted it on here. Not even good looking. I don't even know what I was doing. But yeah, that thing is ugly. I should redo the Mustang. Completely redo this Mustang and make it look good again. So here is this one. Which, I remember this one's in the thumbnail of one of my videos. Which is over 9,000 views. Or 10,000 maybe now. And then here's another one. This thing is pretty much like unstoppable. Because the tires stick out everywhere in front of it. And almost behind it. It's so close. If it did that, it would be really unstoppable. But yeah, you can see it literally covers most of the vehicle. So I really can't get stuck much in this. Okay, so here's my U-Haul van. 1995 for rent. It says in town, rent this van, U-Haul.com, which is a pretty cool little U-Haul van. I also made this one for a quick little video. But yeah, nothing really special. I should make this a drag build probably too. It's not a diesel, it's just sad, but yeah. Domino's van now. It's cool when you go like this, and it's just two different things like this. But there's, I haven't really even seen Domino's vans. I just always come in their own vehicle. But I've seen a Domino's van, like, I used to watch a little video, and I seen um Domino's van. I was like, you know, I should try to make this on Alfred Outlaws. Which I usually, they just usually bring their own cars by where I live. But yeah, so here's my U.S. Army vehicle, which I also bought this one, which I could have made it as well. But it's awesome looking. I like it. I like the U.S. Army build. This thing is pretty cool. So, yeah. It's just built, not bought. The sad part about it is I bought it, not built it. So, bought, not built. I need a sticker that says that. Bought, not built. Okay. So, here's this one. Yeah, I need to change that. Here's my C3 Empire one. It's another tune I did. 
which actually posted a video of this one, C3 Empire. And yeah, this thing goes like 240 as well in Stump Park. This thing is pretty fast. I don't know why it has double dualies. Don't even ask. But yeah, this thing is pretty crazy of a build. And how much vehicles? Okay, there. I'm finally done with showing all my vehicles. Yeah, that was a very long video. Remember, guys, if you're still watching to this point, say, what should I make? What should I ask you guys to say? Huh. Random thing. I need some random thing for you guys to say. I want to see. Just say. I watched till the end. I would say I watched till the end in the comments if you watched all the way to this point of the video. Because I know a lot of people probably didn't. You're not going to see much of these in the comments. But yeah, this was a crazy build. But, crazy build. Don't, don't even ask any me anymore. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video, remember to like and subscribe. This was a long video. It took me a while. But yeah, thank you guys for the people who watched it to the end. And yeah. Remember to like and subscribe. We're on the way to 5,000 subscribers, which I want to hit before school. But I don't think that's going to happen because I have like a week left. A little bit more than a week, like a week and a day. But, which is crazy to think about almost out of school. Now, I still have to read some of the rest of this book. And, yeah, this thing is crazy, this video. So, yeah. And we're trying to get 30 likes on this video, so I think we can do it. Usually, these videos do really well. But, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And, everyone. Yeah. Peace out and bye.